Hello guys and welcome back to another studio vlog. If it's your first time here, my name's Daniela and I run an online store called Paper Dream. Uh, at the moment, I sell some stationery products, um, Archer and Olive bullet journals and some new stuff which I'm going to show you. I started out selling my own products, hand illustrated by myself and then recently I have started to purchase some wholesale items. I am expecting a delivery today from the new Arch and Olive limited edition collection so I'm really excited for that and I also have purchased some Secure Jelly Roll pens so I'm gonna go through that package with you and show you what is now available in the store. So first up we have the set of the bright white jelly roll pins. Uh, these come in a fine, a medium and a bold tip. They're really good on coloured paper. If you don't want the set and you're not interested in having the fine, medium and bold, we also sell the white jelly roll in the bold size. You can pick those up on their own on the website as well. We've got the gold metallic jelly roll, again good on white or coloured papers. And we also have the silver metallic jelly roll. So these are all on the website as individual pens for purchase. Now onto my favourites. Earlier this year Secura brought out the Moonlight 06 collection. So this one is the Galaxy set. This is the Calm set. This is one of my favourites because it's nice pastel colours. So it's got like a nice lilac and a nice sky blue. Another one that I really like is the Botanical set. Uh, this is the Nature set. This is really good if you like using natural colours. I think it'll be really good for autumn. I can't remember the, the exact shade names. They are listed on the website, so if you want to go look at the website, it will tell you all the shade names. And then this one as well, if you like more like natural colours, um, lighter tones. This one is the Urban set. As you can see, there's got another example there of it being used on black paper, so it really stands out. So all of those are available on the website now if you want to go have a look. Uh, and if they sell well, I am definitely interested in curating more pens from other brands. Um, I know Tombow is quite popular in the bullet journaling community, uh, Zebra Mild Liners. Uh, so yeah, I'm definitely, if, if they sell well, I am definitely interested in branching out and getting a nice range. Uh, I'd really, yeah, I'd really just like the website to be a really nice place for like, people who are into stationery, bullet journaling, planning, for them to kind of find everything they need. So let me know what you think guys, let me know if you're interested in that kind of thing. Um, I It would be really nice to be able to just make a nice collection for people to get everything they need in one place. So if you are interested in bullet journals or pens, Head over to the website, it's paperdream.uk. Now we just need to hope the bullet journals turn up today. So I'll check in with you later. I've received a package from Catnip. I ordered a couple of bits from her second sale that she just recently did. I'm super happy because my order was packaged by Mike. I love it, it's so cute. <laughs> I'm too excited to not rip this. <laughs> Uh, so, I ordered a pin banner from the second sale, which is so cute. And I ordered my first ever enamel pin. So, I ordered, oh, it's so cute. I ordered the little sunshine because I'm obsessed with this sunshine. <laughs> it's got a little glittering in the clouds. I didn't even know that. Oh, it's so cute. That's my absolute favourite illustration from Catnip. Um, and then I ordered Gingy and Spice. Oh, that's so cute. 
So these are in the second sale. I've no idea what's wrong with them because they look perfect to me. Oh, they're so cute. I didn't realize this was a rose gold. I thought this was gold, but it's still cute. These are gonna look so nice on my pin banner. I'm gonna put that up on the wall. I'm gonna have to collect more pins now. This is the start of my pin collection. And then it comes with the little thank you card and it's got little illustrations of all the guys from catnip it's so cute that's another one to go up on the ikea pegboard look how cute they are i'm so happy with those the new notebooks have arrived guys so we've got the brand new moonflower notebook which is white cover we have the floral sunset which is a nice dusky pink color and we also have the autumnal equinox which has got like the moon and sun design on navy blue and then this one is the into the forest this isn't part of the limited edition collection but it's just really cute it's got all these little illustrations on leaves and little mushrooms it's very autumnal we need to pack up our first order from the new collection which is one of the floral sunset notebooks so i'm just packing up the pre-order for the floral sunset notebook and I'm just gonna add in a couple of little freebies just as a thank you for pre-ordering. Um, so I'm gonna put in a bookmark and also a vinyl sticker. And that's just a little something to say thank you. A business card goes in with that. And the order confirmation. make sure you get these book wraps nice and tight so that things can't move around too much in there and I like to put a little thank you sticker on the outside as well so I use Royal Mail click and drop for my packages uh, so I just have to weigh them and record the weight on the Royal Mail click and drop app and then I will print the label for that. some plants from a company uh, the other week and they came a couple of them were damaged so they've sent me out some replacements so hopefully these ones are okay yeah no They're absolutely shredded. I don't know what they're doing to these plants. Oh, 
all the leaves are just falling off. Has anyone else ever had, I can't remember what it's called, it's watermelon pepperoni, I think, delivered? Um, because that's two I've had now and both of them have been in pieces by the time it's got to me. At least one of them's in one piece. So these were from Patch Plant. I don't recommend ordering the watermelon pepperonia because that, it doesn't do well in the post. <laughs> um, the higher, the second higher I've got is okay. The first higher, it didn't have the tricolor leaves, which suggests it hasn't been kept in the right conditions. I got a couple of other ones. This is from there, that came in good condition. Um, so it's like hit and miss really. I mean, you can tell like they've cut several stems off of this already before it got here. Yeah, I'd say it's hit and miss with them, but they did offer to replace the plants. It's just, it's still, this one in particular hasn't come in a good condition. I will also say they were cheaper than buying from the garden centre. So, don't know, it's cheaper plants, but it's whether or not they get to you in one piece. I'm working on some stuff right now. I'm hoping to do a Halloween, either a sticker sheet or a sticker pack. I haven't decided yet, but I've been working on those illustrations. I've also been working on some weather sticker illustrations. So I already have the Emotional Cloud range, which is a set of really cute clouds with faces on um, and they all have different emotions and I kind of like use them as like a mood tracker sticker for like planners and bullet journals um, but yeah I'm doing a set of weather stickers now and um, again they've got little faces on so if you're into that kind of thing have a look for that. I would like to do some cars. At the moment I've only really done cutesy things but I'm kind of I'm quite sarcastic I have quite a dry sense of humour um, and some people would call me a pessimist. I like to call myself a realist. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'd like to do like kind of some more funny cards that are a bit sarcastic and a bit offhand. Um, I have like a few ideas. And I now have a foiling machine. So I'd really like to do just some really simple sarcastic cards with foil on. Uh, so that's another thing I want to be working on so I'll try and film some of that I'll try and film working on some of those things so you can kind of see the process of me making those